Hi guys, it's Ian. I am the founder of Seven Intuitive Tarot and today we are one day old. So why did I launch on a Friday? Well, in terms of mysticism and planetary magic, Friday is the day governed by the planet Venus, which of course correlates with the goddess Venus or Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love. And since I'm launching a heart-based spiritual practice, I thought that this would be the perfect day to share this news with you all. So I'm embarking on this exciting new journey and I am so thrilled that I will be able to take you all with me. So I ask you to all climb aboard the Good Ship 7 Intuitive Tarot and enjoy this, this magical journey that we're all embarking on. And, um, you know, to give you a bit of history about the name, I chose seven because seven years ago I embarked on my journey with the tarot and we actually call it the fool's journey uh, in tarot and um, it's an adventure, it's a spiritual adventure. Tarot has been used for so many years. I mean, some people say it has its roots dating back to Egyptian times and some people believe that that's where it started. Others believe that it started later um, in, in Europe and has an association with the gypsies. But, you know, either or, depending on where it's from, it doesn't really matter. The thing about the tarot is that it's a pictorial key that is used to stimulate the subconscious. So we use it as a form of divination. So it's no different to, say, using runes or, um, I don't know, some people scry in water or with crystal balls. There are so many different ways. I do consider myself to be claircognizant and clairsentient. So this means that I often receive information. I'll just be going about my day and I get flashes of inspiration. And these sorts of things happen to people with clairsentience and claircognizant capabilities. Uh, I always wondered why I had this kind of racing mind and why I was such a kind of ideas person, full of ideas, and this is why. And as you know, we are in a time where a lot of people, some people call them starseeds, are awakening to their spiritual and creative potential. And a lot of us are getting to a place where we've realised that perhaps the course that we were on was not resonating with us anymore. And I was feeling a real calling to align with my own true nature and what felt most resonant for me and being such a spiritually minded individual and being so creative, I felt that it was time to share my tarot practice with you. So I will be sharing one-to-one -one readings. At the moment, we'll be doing them via WhatsApp and perhaps via Yahoo Messenger. I will be doing content on Instagram. There will be things happening on YouTube. I will be writing lots of content. Being a number seven, I am a teacher, so I will be sharing as much information as I can with you. I'll be sharing you about the tarot. I'll be taking you through the journey of all the cards, through the minor arcana, through to the major arcana. And I'll be offering as many other little snippets of exciting information to really bring you into my world and to help to educate you about all of these wonderful things that I've incorporated into my life that help me to navigate my life's path. So really my intention here is to use my gifts to help you to align with your path and to help you best navigate your own life path. We all have an inner knowing. There is a subconscious realm that we all have a connection to. For many of us, it happens during the dream state. However, we are able to also access these realms when engaging with art, when being in nature, and through meditative practice. There are also breathing exercises that one can do to also help to stimulate the mind and the, the consciousness to be able to access these areas. And, you know, obviously, mostly everything comes from source, from the divine, however you want to call it. This is not a religious, you know, uh, page. We're not talking about religion here. We're talking about spiritual practice. And spiritual practice is something that speaks to everybody. It is resonance with, with, with all. So I'm so excited that you have joined me. And I really look forward to sharing lots of useful information with you and embarking on this journey with you and connecting with you. And I can't wait to read for you. So thanks again for joining. 
and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.